All right, what is up, guys? Welcome back to 25 High. It's a gorgeous day here in South Alabama. Uh, leaves are starting to change color. The temperatures are, well, we don't have to talk about the temperatures. They're pretty rough today. It is warm today. But I think we're, I think we're gonna get like a little bit of a cold front soon. I'm not really sure. Um, either way, it's getting, it's, it's already December and it, it's just now looking like fall outside as per usual for South Alabama. But today is kind of a special day. I'm going into a spot. I hope it's gonna be a little bit of a special day. I am testing out a new camera that may or may not be my main camera. I'm not really sure yet. I'm going to a little spot on my lease that I had a bunch of does uh, earlier in the year that were every day eating corn. And now that there's a good food plot right near where my corn was, I've got a good feeling they're going to come in there before dark and start munching on some green grass. And it's a little late so they might already be in there. But uh, the, the reason why today's a little, could be a little special is I'm carrying in my 6.8 SPC. I'll show you the whole setup when we get where we're going, but I, I really like this gun. It's a great little setup for, specifically, I built it for saddle hunting, but it ends up, it's a really nice setup for hunting on the ground or just any kind of close-ish quarter stuff, but it still could work very well for sitting in a food plot hunting out to like 150 yards or so. But uh, I'll show you the gun when we get there. We'll talk more about kind of the setup and the, the plan for today when we get where we're going. And let me know in the comments below it, whether you notice a difference in the camera quality, if you like it, if you don't like it, whatever. All right, we'll see you when we get where we're going. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to keep this kind of quick, uh, kind of quiet. Because these deer, there's a chance they're already in the plot. Um, but this is my 6.8. I hope it's in focus. I don't really know how the focus on this camera works yet. But uh, 12 and a half inch AR performance barrel. Uh, 1 to 6 Swamp Fox. I think this is an Arrowhead. Uh, got the, I think this is the SBA 3, I want to say. Um, pistol brace. Got a 3.5 pound CMC trigger. And I, I'm shooting 120 grain Hornady SSTs. So, um, pretty simple. It's a pretty awesome little lightweight, short, very maneuverable build. And hopefully it'll do the, do its job today. That's all, all I'm asking of it is that it just does its job if we see something. So, uh, we'll head in and hopefully there's not already deer in the plot. Hopefully we have time to actually get set up and get everything uh, straightened out before the deer show up. But either way, y'all stay tuned, we're about to head in. Stay tuned, 6.8, and the 6.8. Look at that. Don't tread on me. We're 
gosh, guys, I can't, I don't even know what to say right now. That last deer come out, it was a freaking buck. I knew I had to shoot it, because it was a buck. First buck of the year, 6.8. Oh, my gosh, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk up to it, show you guys real quick with the, with the phone, but then I'm going to run back to my truck and grab my big camera. Heck yes, guys, this is awesome. All right, guys, well, we didn't make it far. <laughs> I shot, he was like right there. He ran back there and then come back. I'm so sorry that footage wasn't great, guys, but all my freaking cameras die. And of course, a buck walks out right at last light. Heck yeah, guys. Oh my God. That's not a bad deer at all. I mean, he ain't got too much for headgear, but my God, it's a big old body deer for South Alabama. And my God, am I proud of him. First deer with my 6.8, and it's a heck of a heck of a South Alabama buck, in my opinion. Perfect shot. Didn't make it. Literally shot him right there. He ran about three quarters of the way across the plot, and then came right back here kicking up dirt. Heck yes, let me go get the big camera, guys. All right, guys, well, this ain't gonna be the best footage ever. None of the none of my last couple hunts have been great footage, but here he is. Look at the, I, he may not have a, I mean, I'm very, very proud of this deer. Uh, he may not have a ton of headgear, but he's got one heck of a body on him. I'd guess he's every bit of three years old. Just maybe not the best genetics, so maybe a need to be taken out. I don't know. I'm pretty proud of that. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna try to get some better pictures and footage of him. Uh, probably gonna take him to the camp if Cade's there, or if he's gonna be there, but <laughs> I'm freaking stoked. 6.8 versus deer. Apparently when you make a good shot with a good caliber, they don't make it far. It's nothing new, nothing groundbreaking, but hey, it's the truth. <laughs> Heck yeah, guys, let's get him out of here. All right, what's up, guys? It's actually the next day. Um, we got, I, f I forgot to film when we got the deer back here, but uh, it was an awesome experience. I just wanted to talk for a second about kind of what happened uh, right at, like, what happened, basically. <laughs> um, so, about five minutes, ten minutes before the end of legal shooting light, my camera died. The, the camera that I was using. I had this camera which is my normal camera in my my bag, and I was using it as a backup. So I went to pull it out to replace the my main camera, or my other camera, and I left the, cam the battery for this camera in my truck. So I was out of cameras, and it was getting dark. It was getting prime time. Still plenty of light left, but it was like starting to lose camera light, starting to get into prime time, and I was like, whatever, I'll just film on my phone if something happens. A couple minutes later, I hear ch -ch 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 -ch. So I pull out my phone, I start filming, and it gets on, and I'm like, those deer are gonna pop out like right under me. So I put my phone in my lap, and I'm like, whenever I get an opportunity to do something, or I start seeing these deer or whatever, I'm just gonna click record with the front-facing camera. Front-facing camera is terrible at picking up light. So you can see a little bit at the beginning, and then I kinda like, my shirt fell over I think my shirt like covered up the uh, the screen or the camera and it just goes totally black. <laughs> and so these two does walk out and I'm sitting there waiting to shoot one of these little does and I've got my scope sitting there and I'm waiting on one to turn broadside. And keep in mind, these deer had walked out at like five yards away from me. They were like, they had stepped out of the woods like right next to my ladder stand. And I was just sitting there frozen until they stepped out. Well, I see two does. I assume that the third deer I'm sitting there hearing is another big doe. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Uh, I'll just I'll shoot one of these younger does, be more tender meat, better for the deer herd, shooting main does, you know. So I'm lo I'm sitting there waiting on one to turn broadside, and I look up over my scope, and the third deer had made it into the plot while I was looking through the scope at the other deer. And I'm like, man, that's a much bigger deer. Oh, that's a buck. So I realize it's a buck. 
can't tell a whole lot about him other than that he's got like a decent good decent sized rack and i'm sitting there with six eight first deer i've ever shot with my six eight so i'm like of course i'm going to take the buck so i just ease over a little bit it's like 20 yards and i put the crosshairs like right in the center of that thing's shoulder shot it was over six eight performed super well i, I will say that i mean that deer i don't even i don't think it even broke a bone and that deer didn't make it five yards if that so Six A performed pretty well, and what I'm what I was glad about is it didn't ruin any of the meat. I mean, there was a lot of bloodshot and a little little uh, messed up stuff, but uh, I shot that deer right in the shoulder, and the shoulders were totally fine. I've shot deer in the shoulder with uh, with two forty three, and I've cleaned deer that have been shot in the shoulder with a thirty out six, and a lot of times you just don't get any shoulder meat, or like one shoulder is just going to be completely destroyed. But I was kind of glad that it, that six eight, did the damage that it was supposed to without messing up too much of the meat. But uh, either way, I'm super proud of that buck. Uh, first deer, first buck of the year, and it was he. I think I mentioned this. He he wasn't like super giant, obviously. I mean, I'm proud of him either way. But uh, for having like not a big rack, he had a huge body. I mean that thing probably weighed 140 pounds, and that's a that's a big body deer for like a three year old deer around here. So, all in all, I'm super proud of how the hunt went down. Other than the fact that I pulled a Kurt and my camera batteries were all dead, <laughs> but oh well, we'll make it work. We'll figure it out. Thank you guys for watching. And I think I may have already mentioned this. I don't remember. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, uh, cl click the like button. Uh, if you want to see more, click subscribe. Uh, and drop us a comment down below any other calibers that you want to see us test out. Because we may, we may be able to do it. We may not, we may be able to. I don't know. But we love doing these kind of videos. Like showing you guys and telling you guys like what calibers work for us. And, and if a caliber doesn't work too well. Like uh, one of our other videos. <laughs> um, we enjoy making them. And... It's, it's just something fun to do, so if, if you guys enjoy it, please let us know. And as always, uh, click the link in the bio if you want to check out our hats, any of our merch. Um, and always remember to live life 25 high. We'll see you next time.